Hello, Narnag here. This is Path of Exile Winter Heart League. So, I just logged in and I saw that Winter Heart had started. So, rather than recording one of my usual series for the Talisman League, I'm actually playing a single episode here for the Winter Heart. And this is a hardcore league in which all players have the same layout in all the areas. The minimap is revealed. The areas have patches of chilled ground everywhere and players are 45% faster while chilled. So I just rolled a Marauder. I'm uh, more or less going in blind. I haven't really read up on what's going on here. So I figured this would be an interesting journey of discovery. So you get chilled and you go faster. feels very appropriate to go with a Marauder that has a ton of life regen and a ton of life just to have a bit of a tanky build. I mean, if you're not, not sure what's going to happen, tanky builds tend to be pretty good for that. And I'm just going for it. This is a, a, a time limited leak. I actually started late because as I said I just discovered this by chance. So the actual leak started... Started about what is it? Uh, 20 25 minutes ago. Uh, 24 minutes ago, actually. Uh, a look on the on the timer. So I'll uh, be very far behind people in uh, the actual race. Well, if you're curious about the Winter Heart League and you haven't had the opportunity to try it, uh, you might find this interesting to see. As far as I understand, this is a one hour race event thing. So it's definitely interesting just to see frost everywhere. I'm surprised the they didn't do something like this during the the winter break, during uh, around Christmas. You know, white Christmas everywhere. It's very nice just to have a league where the entire snow is actually frost covered. Especially if you consider that for most parts of, of Europe, while normally there would be snow in, in December, it was almost spring-like weather. Uh, let's see, pick some uh, survivability stats. So having some frost in game would actually be nice. Then again, grinding gear is of course in New Zealand on the southern hemisphere. So maybe that, that's not completely on the forefront of their mind. Definitely lots of people dying here. It's just interesting running faster on, on frost. <laughs> So the frost is hostile to me, but not to the monsters. Right. Just to grab some simple things and we go to town. <laughs> frost, frost everywhere. Frost as far as the eye can see. Let's see, all the things I'm not gonna use. Let's see, we saw that one. Oh. Boots, it's better than what I got, so. Might as well sell these. Triple links, always good. Uh, I'm gonna go with, with something clubby, hammery, so. Let's also sell all of these things. Equip this, equip that. I mean, having just sockets of different colors available is probably going to be more useful than a chromatic orb, just because items will fluctuate this very much this early. Uh, I need orbs of transmutation to get some of these corals. Oh, for light, this is a perfect coral. Unfortunately, I don't have the transmutation for that. Physical damage boosting, that's going to be very nice. Just the white one, of course. Scrolls, 
20% extra damage. Gems, Steel Strike, Glacial Hammer. Oh, we're gonna get a Glacial Hammer from Mr. Dude over here. Molten Strike or Cloud Slam. Uh, okay, so Glacial I'll have to buy. Actually, just uh, grab this for now. Hello. I don't get a Glacial Hammer. Interesting. See anything else I would want? No, let's go glacial. Then we can get rid of this heavy strike. Uh, let's just keep it in the corner for now. Uh, so, single target glacial. Uh, uh, actually, let's go for this uh, glacial there. Don't have the mana to keep attacking with it. Eventually, the plan will be to switch to a glacial hammer that has a. Uh, melee splash, basically turning it into a uh, low grade version. Whoop. Low grade version of Ice Crash. Something that that worked a bit better than uh, Ground Slam. I tried Ground Slam while leveling a build that was eventually gonna use Ice Crash, but Ice Crash is a bit too fiddly. Let's find the Tidal Island. Interesting, actually. Oh, ooh, Iron Ring. I approve. Interesting having the entire map, so that's why if you're in a... Uh, especially the, the indoor areas, you always know where to go if you want to go to the exit. So you can do way more efficient passing. Here, boom. Okay, I actually have to pay attention to the maps, rather than just walking around and discovering all the dead ends manually because I can't see them so monster damage hasn't been changed all that's changed is just patches of frost on the floor and all it does is just slow me Metacorp. And another level up. So, life and armor. Okay. And again, there was actually a passage there that I missed. You, here, have my glacial hammer. Okay, please stop attacking me. My life regen can't keep up with the damage they're doing. Let's weed out the spectators a bit. We killed her. Let's see. I don't even think I've got gloves yet. Nope, that's a good one. Hat, yes. Scepter. Got a club now, that's gonna be a scepter. This is stun bonus, this is elemental bonus. I'm doing a lot of elemental damage, so that's gonna be a better thing. This extra mana, that's good. That means more regen, which means less mana issues. Covered up, hello. Someone got a master's side mission. Foul ruins, holy moly. Yeah, if you do this a lot, the just the running, starting new characters and just blitzing through, you can get ridiculously quick. If you compare it to just going through it at a regular pace. Uh, let's uh, grab the Quicksilver Flask. This level is of course always very predictable. It's always a circle. So yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for racing season just to uh, every once in a while if I'm if my recording time coincides with something else. Oh 
I mailed first. No, actually that doesn't work with skills. Never mind. Iron hat, blue. Yep. If my recording schedule coincides with the start of a race event or something that's not gonna be a three hour race but like a half hour race or an hour long race then I might just pop in and see how far I can get just add a little bit of variety frankly I'm kind of fond of just very long let's play series currently still having a major major blast with my contagion essence drain Chaos, Caster, Shadow, all in Talisman Hardcore. Superior. No, no, right. Hey, you. Okay, so Hillrake, usually you're here. Where are you? Or are you having a party with all your buddies over there? That must be it. Okay. Hail Rake. Where are you? Oh, that's a nice bit of extra life. Almost to the life regen nodes. Okay. Oh, there. You can actually see on the map where Hail Rake is going to be. Down there. Uh, thinning out the herd once again gives me some extra charges on my new medium flask okay, come on stand still and fight yeah we murderized him scepter Metal damage, that's gonna be an upgrade. It's actually it's a mace, so that would work with the hammer setup I'm gonna get going. And I'll go pure armor, I shouldn't actually have picked up that rusted coif. Or quaff, or however you would pronounce it. And that's another molten strike level. Football, that's a two hander. That might also be interesting. Go for the hammer smash type of approach. I don't have a. No, I don't have portal scrolls. So I have to walk back. I'm so very happy with this waypoint, that was a very nice addition that they made, or a change that they made with the Awakening expansion. Just to move some of these waypoints around so they're a little bit more sensible. Uh, so you go there, uh, actually no you go there. Mana flask goes there, Quicksilver goes there, and for now let's keep an extra mana flask on the side. So this is gonna be, yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's go two hander. Just go big hammer smash or mole smash in this case. Um, yep. Sell so what I got. Uh, Mail fist, yes. Boom, and we can ID this, see if it's better. But we get extra life, that makes it better by definition. There you go. Right, that's just Molten Strike. That means I can sell this. Also, I got an extra flask. I should have sold that. Good. Uh, enchant it with another random mod. Hey, I don't have anything with that. Tuckley, hello there. Yes. Let's uh, move on. Let's go to the coast. And walk on, and I have Ooh, iron gauntlets. Yes. Uh, 
Ah, oh, it's so nice to see where the crossroads are. That way you know exactly where to go for the Rowanists. Emeralds. A ruinist. Then we need to go this way. Oh, zombies. Gotta kill them. They're worth XP. Stuff might also be a good option because then you get blocking in addition to two-handed damage. Also, stop degening me. I do not appreciate. Yo. Yes. Okay, gotta get more glyphs. Let's see that those monsters follow me. We have to backtrack a little bit that way anyway. We kept some of the zombies that just crawled out of the dirt on our way here. Yeah. Club to the face. So this one mana flask. If I find another one, I can use this one as well to hand them in, get a better one. Probably should have held on to my previous drop club. That's that's a one-hander. Probably should have held on to my previous small life flask. If I find another one, I can also hand that in. Access and hammer smash don't really work well together. It's just a mace or a stave. And I should actually have three of these rocks already, don't I? Yes, one, two, three. Right. That means we can go straight up here. Also this, let's see, max life, life regen. So much like life regen this early in the game. Okay, and then Tarkley is gonna give us a skill gem. Decoy, Molten Shell, Reckoning. Reckoning is only if you block with a shield. Vigilant Strike, that's fortification when I want it. That's not a bad one to get. Let's see. This is also not a bad helm to have. Okay, I have a color issue now. 8 through 17, 9 through 13, same attack speed. Actually, this is better. Good. That means I can sell the club. Uh, I'll find better of these, better of those. This I'm gonna use. Everything else I'll just hang on to. Yeah, better weapon. Which means I can lift over my gems, which means I can replace this one. This one I'm gonna sell. I'll keep. And then we continue. Submerge passage. Ooh, so nice. You can actually see where I'm going this time. Ah, just stick to the bottom and then I'll find the thing. Especially in, in very twisted levels like this, it's so nice knowing where to go rather than having to backtrack endlessly. Let's see, level 5, I'm level 5, so that's a pretty decent experience. But I can probably just run a bit and only focus on killing groups just to keep up the speed. Backtrack here. Hello there, group. Here. Ooh, transportation. I want it. I need it. Uh, yeah, let's go belt first. That's probably the one I'm gonna keep for a while. Bit of energy shield, bit of fire resist. There's worse things to have on a belt. Yes. 
come to me. And we have enough charges to run here. Flood of depths. Excellent, just a relatively straightforward path here. Stop zapping me. You evasive thing. Yes. Okay. Got some more charges. Let's just go. Yep. Nicely punching up. Let's kill them. But if this means that racing season has started again, I might actually record the occasional racing episode. That's not going to be too many. I mean, it's like one a week or so. Maybe a bit more at the beginning when I spot something that's new to me, like this this winter winter hard league race thing. And I see the big purple boss thing, or purple glowy boss thing. Here. Let's kill all your little minions first. Oh yeah, I vigilant strike. I keep forgetting vigilant strike. It's one of the main reasons I always tend to go for the fortify support gem because I always forget to cast a vigilant strike. That was it. Trouble more. That's an uh, upgraded weapon, damage wise. No blocking, but if it's more damage, that means I need it. Uh, this is probably better than I got. Oh, yeah, I had some mana on this. Okay, uh, never mind. I'll just sell it. I don't have a portal scroll skill still. Uh, that means we're just gonna run. Back. I mean, it's not too far. Through here, through there. Yeah. And then we can just stick to the right hand side and just get out of there. Cool. Ah, a group of enemies. They might charge up my charges a bit so I can actually run again. Nope. Bridge leading to the exit. Yes. And then we get to uh, the ledge. Jackpot. Ah, this looks like a passage, but it is not a passage. That's that's just mean. Then again, this game is out to kill you. Never ever forget that. This is a nice mass murdering frenzy. Okay. I, cannot carry this. I, I was picking up some random crap before. Of course, yellow items supersede that. So, 15 to 23, 8 to 17. So, this is clearly, clearly better in the damage department. It's also triple red sockets, that, that's also very good. It requires level 8. Okay, that, that's going to be a bit of an issue. That's two levels from here. 
Chain boots. Ah, well, they're blue. Yeah. When I get to the large waypoint or when I find a portal scroll, I can actually sell stuff. But, uh, go down here, then go up there. Ooh. Kill all the little things. What life regen? So that's 1.8. Another 0 0.8. <coughs> that's 2.6 percent of my life regenerated per second. Okay. So 12 minutes to the hour. I think if this is timed, then in two minutes I should see a notice that there's going to be two minutes remaining. As I said, I, I just saw it when I logged in and I just clicked created a character and I went. Didn't really put a lot of thought or planning into it. Just went. So I missed out about 20 minutes of content. So that that's, that means I can. I mean, I wonder if you... I know it's possible to kill Merville in an hour. I mean, people are actually pretty far into the marketplace. That's Act 3. Experienced people are getting there. They're also running in groups, which is completely different from running solo, of course. And I'm assuming they're in groups. That doesn't say anything that you can't group up. Yeah. So I'm wondering, because this is a fixed seat map, I mean, all maps are the, all players get the same layout. I'm wondering if multiple run-throughs of, or multiple repeats of this league, if they're going to be the exact same as well. So every time it's going to be the same, so you could improve your, your score, so to say. Uh, basically just the amount of XP you've gained over time. That's probably a pretty good definition of progress here. Um, let's see... Lifing, I probably want to stick to. Ooh, this is. Mm, need more. ID calls. Right, so these gnarled branches, I'm not gonna be able to do something with them, so I might as well sell them to get some transmutation orbs. ID scrolls are rare, so there's actually no point in IDing them. This I'm gonna use. Sword I'm not gonna use. Ah, blue, not gonna use it. This I want. This is a blue version of what I got, so it's not gonna be an upgrade. So, upgraded my flasks. Okay, just gonna get rid of these. There's no point in actually doing it for. And an ID is called, so already got this ID. This one's not yet, and it is extra damage, extra armor, extra life on kill, mana on kill. That's an upgrade. Let me check and sell the other one. Get another. ID shard thingamajig. Uh, also, if I grab one of these and sell it, that's gonna be four ID scrolls. A very nice trick early on. It's so more important to ID stuff than to magicify things. Okay, gonna get a magic weapon, helmet. Can I buy a decent armor from Tarkley? Hey, my book of skill. It's also very useful. Diamond skin is very nice early on. And then afterwards go for cold resistance for the Merville fight. Uh, so plate armor. Uh, early on it's it's hard to find good stuff. Right, let's uh, magicify this one then. Let's get something on the strength. Max life. Okay. And we push onwards. Onwards, always onwards. We came from there, we go here. Also, just follow these stone puddles, pile things. Uh, let's see, glacial hammer. So, by the time we get to Merveil, is when you actually get access to support gems. And that's when you get melee splash, which is very nice to put on Glacial Hammer. As I said, it becomes sort of kind of like a, a, a proto version of Ice Crash. 
It's a single hit and it has AoE splash all around you rather than only in a forward facing cone, which is, in my opinion, the biggest problem with uh, Ground Slam. Sweep is also pretty decent, but it's it's pure physical rather than elemental. And no, the, the, the cold damage from Glacial Hammer, it definitely adds safety because it chills and freezes enemies. Actually misclicked there. I used my Quicksilver Flask instead of my Mana Flask. So, I need more kills to re replenish that one. That's gonna be resist everything. Hey, most of the time I'm pretty comfy with my resists at 50 for Mervale on normal. Uh, especially with a, a rather relatively tanky build such as the Marauder. Or relatively tanky character such as the Marauder. No, and just, just crafting or buying a single Sapphire gem is also a pretty good solution. To fixing your resistances. Merville is usually the, the point where I transition out of iron rings or coral rings for life or damage and into resistance rings and then from that point onwards resistances are the primary stats I look for on my gems or on my rings. So I don't even have an amulet yet. Which is silly, because you can get nice life regen from your amulet. I mean, 4 points of life regen this early is actually pretty, pretty useful. But let's uh, ignore the adds on and go for the bows. Luck bows. Everybody get around, here is your personal fireball. Uh, just blue stuff, don't really care. I mean, if you're drowning in ID scrolls, you can always just pick them up and sell them, but especially in a race like this, where you're not really looking to establish an economy, you just, you know, go with what you got. And getting just random drops is probably a better, more reliable thing than buying stuff. And it's modifying all the items you find. I mean, just making sure that you don't have any white items on you. Um, might actually just apply this. Also, I got an upgrade here now. Molten Strike and a Vigilant Strike. Here you go. There you go out. It's 40 DPS. And that was 28. So it went from under 30 to 40. League's ending in 4 minutes. Ah, run, 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 run. See if we can make it to the prison. That would be nice. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Basically, for for every level, you get points, league points, and you also get league points for reaching certain thresholds. Certain areas, defeating certain bosses. It's uh, too bad I didn't defeat Mervail. If I had started this on the hour, I definitely would have made it. Because I'm currently sufficiently hyped for that. I mean, not playing in a regular league, it definitely helps you uh, focus on just moving on. Not, not focusing too much about building up economy, gear, selling stuff, things like that. Just go, go, go! So definitely if you're... Uh, no, if you, especially if you do Let's Play series like I do. You tend to start a lot of characters just to try out builds, things like that. So slowly over time you, you get better at 
focusing on things that are important, but still way not at the level that serious racers are still focusing too much on just things that don't absolutely matter to getting faster ahead. And I'm a reasonably cautious player as well. I tend to favor builds that, that are more safe rather than just fast. Uh, and I have this, this urge that if I see monsters I must kill them rather than only killing entire groups of monsters. I'm not as good at efficient leveling, that's probably the core of what I'm trying to say here. Which is a skill you can train just by doing it. Also, I have to remember to walk on the patches of ice, which is very counter uh, intuitive. Because you actually are slightly faster there than normal. Okay, waypoint. Yeah, there's no point in going to town. Must just go on. The show must go on. Uh, no, this is a dead end. Time to figure out the layout. Just walk around all the way around the edge. Bunch of skellies. One minute! Final minutes. It's the final countdown. So, yeah, Winter Heart League. It's a, it's a fun one hour race. Presumably this character will now afterwards just continue to live on the regular Hardcore League. Provided, of course, you don't kill your character. So I don't think there's anything boosty or, spy or, or special going on that warrants voiding these characters. I don't think there's anything special in terms of gear. Also participating in leagues, uh, you get league points as I said. And at certain thresholds you get items and empty access and all kinds of goodies. 10 seconds, okay. And we stand, we fight. We actually go back to fight you. Yes, we killed it. And the league has ended. So, that league uh, ladder. So, how far did people get? Level 27 uh, with a with a shadow, 3.1 million. Which which that was us levels 27, 27, 27, 26, 25, 25, 25. So, lots of people made it to level 25. It's a pretty big gap to number 10, 2.3 million. Number one, 3.1 million. Pretty cool. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it just as a regular break from my usual content. So let me know. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the dislike if you didn't, of course, but then probably you wouldn't have made it here. But okay, that's it. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I post at least two videos per day, uh, at least one Path of Exile every day and one non-Path of Exile uh, video every once in a while, there's a bonus. Uh, most of the time it's a regular series, every once in a while it's well, something like this, just a leak thing breaking in between. And after that we go back to your regularly scheduled content. And with that, I thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.